Okay. So, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're asking to do is write the equation. And if you guys remember from the beginning, um, when you guys, whenever you guys have any of these problems, what I'm going to recommend that you guys do is sketch the information. So, we can plot these points. So we have negative 1, 3, and negative 1, negative 3. Those are your two foci. And then I find my two vertices, which is negative 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2. OK, now this tells me a lot of pieces of information, right? It tells me, one, I have a vertical transverse axis. That's very important, right? So it's going to be looking something like that. It's going to open up and open down, right? It also tells me where my center is, right? Because my center is halfway in between my vertices. It's also halfway between my foci, right? So it's at uh, negative 1, 0. And I'll write that down because I'm going to need that because that is my h and my k. Correct? That's important. Um, the next thing we need to know is we need to figure out my a, b, and my, my actually just my a and my b. So I know a is the distance from my center to my vertice, which is 1. Two. So I could say, no, vertice, always vertice. For ellipses and for hyperbolas, it's always, A is always going to be center to vertice. But C is the distance from my center to my foci. But I don't really need C. I need B. So that's going to be 3. So I get to figure out B. And do you guys remember the equation? Right. Well, because C represents center to foci. I'm not given b, so I have to find b. So I have to use that equation that Jason just said, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c squared is 9, a squared is 4, plus b squared, minus 4, minus 4, 5 equals b squared. So now I know b squared, I know a, I can find a squared pretty easily, and I know h and k. Am I good to write my equation? So you're saying b equals square root of 5? Yes. If you had to find co-vertices, which you won't, which no, is not part of this problem. But yeah. Um, now, the only other thing is, remember, guys, this is a vertical transverse axis, right? So that means what, what should be under my, should my A be under my X or A be under my Y? A should be under my Y. And remember, it's always A squared. Um, so actually, let's just write it like this. It has to be x, uh, wait, so it should be y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. And then basically what I'm now doing is plugging in my h and my k. So k is 0, so it's going to be y squared over a squared, which is 4, minus x minus h, so that's going to be x plus 1 squared over b squared, which is 5, equals 1. Uh, 